Hello everyone. Um, so this is happening right now. Uh, my my Twitter my Twitter feed is blowing up with Greta Thunberg, and usually that's something that I view with a little bit of trepidation because because for a long time she was really lukewarm uh, on nuclear, and I I think she still is. But here's here's the deal. She's a very influential person whether you like it or not. Uh, I'm ambivalent to her role in this planet. I do know that she has very, uh, she has a great following. Many people take her seriously. So if she shifts to becoming more and more pro-nuclear, uh, along with being pro-nuclear, uh, along with being pro-renewables, I'm fine with it. And I guess that, that at this moment she is making the turn. Uh, she is clearly saying, okay, it is better to have a nuclear plant than to have a coal plant. So that's a win. That's a definite win. And now some of you would be saying, well, she needs to advocate for more nuclear power plants. Yes, I agree. But let's not be greedy. Let's just take it the way it is. I mean, personally, I think that it's that it's it's a very bad idea to to focus on coal when when this is already in place. But mm -hmm. but but of course, it's a, yeah, it's a very inf infected debate. Um, but for the climate issue, uh, are the, the the nuclear power plants the better choice for the time being now? It depends. If we have them already running, I feel that it's a mistake to close them down in okay. order to focus on coal. Now I want to tell you something about this this concept of mine that I have, um, because I and, and this is this is something that I've started thinking about because of a a, a a picture that I saw the other day from also on Twitter uh, from Ken Caldera and somebody else posted it. I, I don't recall exactly who came up with it, so kudos to whoever you are um but in, in 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 essence it says this we're all pulling at the same point and we're trying to pull it away from the environmental disaster that we've set up and i know that some of you don't agree with with the usage of the world environmental disaster but i, I do believe that there's that there's uh, that there's some 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 stuff in the pipeline that's not going to be good for us and it's mainly going to hit people in the tropics more than people you know in in in, in the higher latitudes so so i think that climate change is something we need to take seriously so what we see in this picture is you know we're all trying to move the ball into the same direction but we're at odds at you know the incline or the the, the 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 general direction that it needs to go or which specific direction it needs to go but as you can see the, the majority of the arrows point in the same direction there's just a small arc of difference uh, so I, what i would like to do is to to give you an idea of how i see this problem i believe that um, we all walk in, 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 in inside an, a kind of exhibition, so to speak, and there's stalls everywhere. And each stall says, okay, this is what this technology can do. This is what you can do, or not necessarily technology, but this is what you can do to, to break climate change, break it, you know, apply break pressure. And then there's the next stall that does the same thing. And then there's the next stall that does the same thing. And then on the other hand, you have a stall. This is what this, 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 this does not do to help climate change. Or this is why it's not good enough. Or this is X, Y, and Z. And each and every one of us is choosing which stall to visit. And then turning around to the exit. But we're, we're forgetting one thing. The exhibition is built up in such a way that to get the full picture you have to walk past each stall and at the end there is a summary and the summary says listen okay it's not smart to discount all technologies just because of the negative stalls that you've seen 
And it's also not good to just pick and choose a positive stall. You know, you, you didn't have enough time to visit the nuclear stall or you didn't have enough time to visit the renewable stall. So you went to the renewable stall, you went to the anti-nuclear stall, you came and you went. And that's what you took away from it. So Greta in this, in this instance has now moved up from being just a renew uh, just a renewable stall and being uh, a, a climate doomer uh, somebody who believes that climate change is going to to do horrendous stuff in the world and and, and she, she she may be still there but she has visited two or three extra stalls along the way and it's now come to the point where she says well, wait a, wait a second. If we already have these nuclear power plants that emit no CO2, and we have these coal-fired power plants that do emit CO2, then it would be smarter to keep the nuclear power plants. Now, that's a win. That's a win. That's an absolute win. And I won't say that it is up to us to take her past all the other stalls, because I believe that everybody needs to do that for themselves. Uh, what I can do is, you know, put a megaphone to my mouth and say, visit all the stalls, make sure you get the complete picture. And, and that's basically what I'm hoping that Greta will do. That is what I'm hoping that some of the policymakers will do. And if I look around me, you know, I see this, 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 this Greta uh, thing as, as being a sign that this is happening. People are walking past more stalls. And, and, and we see this in Dutch in Dutch politics right now. We also have seen this in Californian politics quite recently, when when with an overwhelming majority, the I believe it was the House of Representatives in California, maybe it was the Senate, I can't recall, uh, voted in favor of keeping Diablo Canyon alive. So this is basically. Uh, this uh, uh, the movement that I'm that I'm a part of that we are a part of that has been saying we need nuclear we need nuclear we need nuclear we, we were the stall and we made we made a, a lot of noise and the people who were interested in the noise they came and looked at the stall and they said yes that's a good idea they didn't necessarily become a part of our movement because to be honest our movement is quite strident we are pretty forthcoming we really have a go at the mentality mentality uh, and, and, but but the sentiment that we share that we need nuclear to to get out of this energy mess that we are in right now and this climate mess that we're in right now that sentiment is getting spread out to use a a, a weird metaphor like a like a like an oil stain on the ocean um so i think this is good uh, i i think that we're on the right way um uh, what we need now is governments actually committing to new nuclear power plants together with some wind and solar uh you know to have a cohesive but also a, a little bit diverse energy system because believe me, we need so much energy uh, that it is quite pointless to say that we can't use X, Y, or Z. We really need the whole gamut of technologies and 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 and, and, and things to to change uh, the way we produce electricity. Now, one thing I am not a fav in favor of, and that's system change. I don't believe that we need a. Uh, to get away from our system and that, that wealth or prosperity is a bad thing. That's something that I will hold on firmly to. Uh, I don't believe that there's a stall uh, out there that says system change is absolutely required for uh, climate change. Uh, but, you know, Greta Thunberg is, is, is slowly but surely climbing on board the nuclear ship. And that's good. Thank you all for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.